Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related with a little bit of emphasis on the brand Vera Bradley. I also do some content related to concealed carry and how that works with all these beautiful bags that I love. I'm trying some different lighting today so let me know what y'all think about it. Uh, today we're going to do my most recent online sale haul. But before I get into that, I do want to mention a couple of the videos that I have coming up pretty soon. Um, we're still going to go through all of the Vera Bradley on the go bags. I think there are six or seven different versions. We're going to compare all of those, their capacity, what they hold, their shapes, any differences, that whole thing. And then I got a request to do my actual full uh, collection, all of my bags. So I'm going to start that this coming week. And then the other thing that we're going to get into is this. Have any of y'all received this uh, Thread Up X Vera Bradley thing in any of your recent orders? Well, I've gotten several of these and I was extremely curious about it, about the entire process, what they actually pay, what they do, the whole thing. So I've done this. And I'm going to take you guys along for the ride and we're going to see how it works out what they pay, what they do. I've actually already sent it off and recorded part of the video. So when all that gets done, I will edit that video together and we will talk about this because this is really interesting. All right, so let's jump into this haul. I actually made two orders because huh, thanks Vera for extending the sale. Y'all know just how to get more money out of us, don't you? Oh, and what do you guys think of my sweater? I saw it at Walmart and it was on sale for like three bucks. When I first looked at it, I was like, oh, it's hideous. But then the more I looked at it, it was like those little dogs that you look at the first time and you're like, oh my God, that thing's ugly as sin. And then the more you look at it, you're like, actually, it's kind of cute. So this is my uh, cute, ugly sweaters that I think I've already worn in one video. But anyway, let's get into the haul. I mixed all of everything together. So we'll just start with the smallest pieces and then move up to the larger ones. So this first item is the Wide Loop Keychain in Bedford Blooms. I showed this to you guys in the last haul that I had. It's the exact same keychain. I uh, ordered this because in my second order, I needed something to get up to the $35 amount for the free shipping because your girl ain't paying $8 for shipping when I can throw a $3 item in my cart and get it for free. So I got another one of these either as a backup or to give to my mom or whatever. And then the other small piece that I got, this one is just called the In The Loop Keychain in Happy Blooms. So just another little small keychain. I'm getting to where I really, really like these because it's super easy to um, just throw this up on your wrist and have your keys really handy. This one doesn't have the little clip on it though. This one just has the ring. And as always, I'll put prices up on the screen the way that I do with the retail the price I paid and then the savings. Okay, the next piece, let's go with this one. This is the RFID Tech wristlet, and this is the factory side. So this is a factory outlet item. On the front, you just have your pattern, your wrist strap that is removable there, if you guys can see that. And then on the back, you have this big clear section that you can stick your phone in. Well, my phone in the case does not go in here. I can take it out of the case and it will fit. And if I can remember, I'll try to put the dimensions of my phone in the case up on the screen and then the dimensions without the case up on the screen so you have a better idea. But um, other than that big um, open or clear slip pocket you get four card slips in here two here and then two over here 
and that's it. It's super simple. I like wristlets though. So, I don't know that I'll actually put my phone in this part, but I do like wristlets, so I'll use this. Okay, next we got, let's go with this one, because I was pretty excited to get a hold of this one. If I can figure out how to open it. This is called, this is another factory item, and it's called the Lighten Up Mini Zip Around Cosmetic. And in one of these videos coming up, I will show y'all a comparison of this mini, co the factory mini cosmetic against the new retail side mini makeup bag. But this one has two little carry handles that you, you can grab it, but they're super, just super little. There's nothing on the front or the back, and then it does have a double zip that goes all the way around. So then you open it up, and it's not quite a lay flat, but it does open up really wide. And on one side, you get one, two, three little mesh slip pockets with the elastic around the top. And then on this other side you have the little mesh layer with the double zipper that goes around for a big mesh pocket. So I think this is pretty neat. Not sure how I'm going to use it because it is a pretty decent size. But we'll do some cosmetic comparisons pretty soon and I'll bring out this one versus that mini makeup case versus the mini cosmetic and so on and so forth. We'll look at all the different styles. Okay, next we've got another clearly colorful stadium crossbody set, and this one is in Bonbon Medallion. I really liked the last one that I ordered, so I did get another one. I talked about this a lot in the last haul, so I'm not going to go into super big detail about it. You do have your strap your two-piece strap so you can make it a belt bag or a crossbody. This is all clear and then it comes with your smaller pouch and I'll include this in that cosmetic comparison. So that is that piece. I'm trying to get through this haul pretty quick because I talk a lot. <laughs> okay, next I did get the four piece cosmetic and this one is in Deep Night Paisley. Fun fact, this is my very first four piece cosmetic set ever. I always looked at them but I never had a need really for all these different pieces. But you have your big large clear case with the double handles. You have one single zipper that goes around, and then you have your four pieces. So you have your little clamshell piece, your little smaller piece that's like an on a roll case minus the flap, and then your largest piece. So I went ahead and ordered this, not only because it was a really good price, but because I've noticed lately that they are actually changing the configuration of the four-piece cosmetic and um, I don't like it I don't like what they include in it now I don't like that little flat thing you're supposed to put your brushes in and then roll them up I do not like that um, I have no need for that and so as of right now going forward I have no desire to get any of the four-piece cosmetics because I feel like I feel like they've cheapened it, really, if you want my honest opinion. I think this configuration with these pieces was a lot better. So, let me know what your old opinion is. Do you like this style better, or do you like the new the new configuration? Because your girl here just ain't a fan of it. Alright, the next piece that I got, which I have no clue what in the hell I'm going to do with it. But I got it, so I'm going to find 
a use for it. And actually, I've been trying to shop and purchase more intentionally. And I'm not doing the best job at it, but that's going to be part of a few videos going forward. I'm going to have y'all help me um, start purging a few items from my collection because it's getting out of control. I'm pretty well out of room. I have my shelves behind me and I have some in my closet and I have some in my, my mom's house. And it's, it's just out of control. I have no more room. So, for things that are coming in, some things are going to have to start going out. And I'm going to take y'all with me for that and get y'all's opinion on what should go and what should stay. But this item is the City Shopper Tote in Hummingbird Park. I think it's pretty neat, but I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. So... It's basically just a big open tote, but it's plastic lined. You can see right there on the edge the plastic that's actually pulled off. Let me show you. It's got two straps that are coated in that plastic. And they're, they're not super long, so you don't get a huge drop with it. The entire bag is coated in plastic, but the plastic stops right along this lip at the edge. And the only thing that you have in here is one slip pocket. But I can take this fabric and pull it away. So this is literally like a fabric bag in a plastic bag. So, genuinely not sure what I'm gonna do with this, but it's really cute. So, I'll figure out something to do with it. I got some birdies. So there's that one and then I believe the last item in this haul was the utility crossbody in desert flower pink so I'll show this to y'all really quickly and then we will do some comparisons to a few other bag styles later so, the front of this bag, you have a zipper pocket right here. I love the inside. There's no organization in this. It is just a slip or zip pocket. Directly behind that, you have another zip pocket that goes around. And it opens up really nice. And in here, it's hard, for, hard to see. But you do have two really good sized slip pockets. On the back, you have that phone slip pocket right here. It's just that wide, and it goes to, like, right here. I wish they would just make this all one big slip pocket. You have your adjustable but not removable crossbody strap or long shoulder strap or shoulder strap. But it has this clip, so you can undo it on one part. I'm not sure what the purpose of it is, but it's there, so. And then on the inside, oh, and this material is kind of that sea felty material, so I'm not super crazy about it, but we'll see how it works out. And then when you get on the inside, the front wall of the bag right here has nothing. The back wall has a zipper pocket that I just zipped up, of course. But it has a zipper pocket that's not enormous. It's kind of small. And then you have one, two more big slip pockets right there. So, we'll do some more comparisons on all of these later. I just wanted to get out the quick haul video so y'all could see the items. And yeah, we're gonna do that on the go video my full collection videos are going to start pretty soon we're going to do a bunch more comparisons and then of course that thread up xavier bradley haul or not haul but the video on this entire process will be coming probably this coming week so lots of new videos coming i hope that you got 
blah, blah, blah. I can't speak. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the new lighting. Is it better or worse? Do I need to just go back to what it was or is this a little better? Let me know. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope you are having a fantastic day. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or just want to say hello, then leave me a message down below. Um, I genuinely love talking to you guys. So I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.